हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू फास्ट प्रोडक्ट 21 मेडिकल कोडिंग यूट्यूब चैनल द पर्पस ऑफ दिस चैनल इज टू हेल्प द पीपल हु आर इन नीड ऑफ मेडिकल कोडिंग रिलायबल रिसोर्सेज इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल टेल योर फ्रेंड्स टू सब्सक्राइब इफ यू आर विजिटिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम देन क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन टू रिसीव फ्यूचर अपडेट्स इन मेडिकल कोडिंग फील्ड दिस चैनल इज हेल्पफुल फॉर फ्रेशर्स एक्सपीरियंसड कोडर्स एस्पिरेंट्स ऑफ एपीसी एंड अहिमा सर्टिफिकेशन एग्जाम If you have any other topics or concerns please mention in the comment section. Please click on like button to encourage and motivate us. Please watch until the end to gain in-depth knowledge about ICD 10 CM, PPT, HeekPix, coding systems as these Q&A sessions are very useful in live coding, medical coding interviews, PPC and CCS certification process. Guys, if you go to any interview, keep familiar with the code books like ICD 10 CM, PPT, HeekPix. as our sessions will assist you in the process of interviews but not an alternative to original interview process so so today our topic is integumentary system this session is useful for the people who are try trying to write aapc C certified professional coder in dermatology cpcd exam so here certified professional coder in dermatology cpcd credential prep Otherwise, we can call it as CPT integumentary guidelines. In our session today's first question is: When do we perform fine needle aspiration? Answer: A fine needle aspiration biopsy is performed when material is aspirated with a fine needle, and the cells are examined cytologically. In fine needle aspiration, we will use 22 gauge size to 25 gauge size. Basically, we which are small size needles. so wherever you find fine needle means it is aspiration of fluids so tissue you can't remove using the fine needle so whenever you find the document using fine needle aspiration you need to think that it is a fluid physician is going to aspirate and sometimes the keyword is gauge of the needle also you can check here see here 22 gauge to 25 gauge size so the which are small size needle so we can identify using the gauge of the needle also so what is meant by cytology answer cytology is the exam of a single cell type as often found in fluid specimens basically usually we will perform cytology for fluid specimens histopathology for tissue specimens you need to remember this what is core needle biopsy answer A core needle biopsy is typically be performed with a larger bone needle to obtain a core sample of tissue for histopathological evaluation. In core needle biopsy, we will use 14, 16, and 18 gauges, which are large circumference needle. As we told before, so core needle biopsy useful for removal of tissue sample, not like uh, fluid. So here, for tissue sample, we will usually perform. histopathological examination so here our needle sizes are 14 16 and 18 gauges so next question what is histopathology answer histopathology means the study of changes in tissues caused by the disease so using this histopathology physician will identify what are the changes occur because of the disease process next question how do we perform fine needle aspiration answer fine needle aspiration biopsy procedures are performed with or without imaging guidance have you ever think about why the physician will use imaging guidance here so i will tell the answer basically whenever physician taking the fluid he can't see visually like fluid means it is inside the body so he can't see where is the fluid exactly if it is a mass or bump he can see physically so it can it can it is available it is we can see it is externally but uh, we can't see the fluid location because of that reason for fine needle aspiration biopsy physician will use imaging guidance so will you report imaging guidance codes along with fine needle aspiration codes answer we no need to report imaging guidance codes as FNA biopsy code itself includes imaging guidance as we discussed before fine needle aspiration biopsy it is mandatory to use like imaging guidance why means fluid is located in the inside the body which 
the physician can't see with naked eye because of that reason using the imaging modalities physician will identify the exact location of the fluid so how do you report when more than one final aspiration biopsy is performed on separate lesions at the same session same day same is imaging modality here we need to use the appropriate imaging modality add on code for the second and subsequent lesion next question how do you report when more than one fna biopsy is performed on separate lesion same session same day using different imaging modalities previous one is same imaging modality this one is different imaging modality answer we know we need to report the corresponding primary code with modifier 59 for each additional imaging modality and corresponding add on code for subsequent lesion sample how do you report when fna biopsy and core needle biopsy both are performed on the same lesion same session same day using the same type of imaging guidance answer we no need to report separately the image guidance for the core needle biopsy so here we no need to use the imaging guidance for core needle biopsy it is already included in fna how do you code when fine needle biopsy is performed on one lesion and core needle biopsy is performed on separate lesion same session same day using the same type of imaging guidance answer we need to code both the core needle biopsy and the fna imaging guidance for the core needle biopsy may be repeated separately with 59 modifier here we need to code both the core needle biopsy and the fna and the imaging guidance for the core needle biopsy may be repeated separately with using modifier why mean here imaging modality is used how do you code when fna biopsy is performed on one lesion and core needle biopsy is performed on a separate lesion same session same day using the different types of imaging guidance answer we need to code both the core needle biopsy and the imaging guidance for the core needle biopsy may be reported with 59 modifier what is the code series for without imaging guidance of fna for without imaging guidance we will use 10021 and 10004 what is the code series for the imaging guidance for fna it imaging guidance first lesion and each additional cpt 10005 and 10006 for ultrasound guidance 10007 and 10008 for fluoroscopic guidance 10009 and 10010 for ct guidance 10011 and 10010 One one zero one two is for MRI guidance. So in FNA, usually we will use four types of imaging modalities. If the physician uses different modalities in same session, we will use fifty nine modifier. So how do we code percutaneous needle biopsy other than fine needle aspiration? So this is not fine needle aspiration, percutaneous needle biopsy. So here physician is not taking the fluid. So for percutaneous needle biopsy, we need to take the code from the chapter specific, like here: breast, muscle, pleura, lung, salivary gland, liver. So these are these are all the codes codes are for percutaneous biopsy of the separate this organ, like kidney, testis, epididymis, thyroid, nucleus pulposus, spinal cord, like that. Guys, whenever we are coding something, so we need to check the ICD-10 CM code. That means we need to check the medical necessity for the same procedure. The procedure. Why the physician is performing the procedure? For example, if you take IND, physician we will uh, physician will perform IND usually for abscess. So we need to remember that uh, for abscess, physician will I do IND. So we need to check the document to find any abscess or cyst in the document. So what is an abscess? Answer: Abscess is a bump that appears within or below the skin surface, similar to a pimple, but typically larger and deeper under the skin. What is hematoma? Answer: A hematoma is a collection of blood. Here, hema means blood. So hematoma is a collection of blood, usually clotted outside of a blood vessel that may other occur because of an injury to the wall of a blood vessel. allowing blood to leak out into tissues where it does not belong 
The damaged blood vessel may be an artery, vein, or capillary. The bleeding may be very, very tiny, tiny means small, low. It is just dot of blood, or it can be large and small, significant blood loss. So, whenever the surrounding organs damage or something happen, blood comes out of the tissue. So, the, the damaged blood vessel may be an artery, vein, or capillary. Whenever these artery, vein, or capillary damage, blood will comes out and it will form a hematoma. Next question: What is seroma? Answer. A seroma is a buildup of clear fluid inside the body. It happens most often after surgery. A seroma is not often dangerous, but it can cause pain and discomfort. What is lymphocele? Answer. Lymphocele is a post-surgical complication like seroma that develops when the lymphatic system gets damaged during the surgery. So this seroma and lymphocele can occur due to the surgery. What is a cyst? A cyst is a sac like pocket of membranous tissue that contains fluid, air or other substances. So how do you report soft tissue marker placement with imaging items? Answer, it is reported with 1035 and 1036. We need to report 1035 and 1036 only once per target regardless of how many markers. Like if physician keeps number of more than one also we need to use the same code. Like see here, clips means plural. White, pellets, radioactive seeds, all are plural only, plural only. So we need to use the same code for even physician keeps more than one. What is acne? Answer, acne is a skin condition that occurs when our hair follicles become plagued with oil and dead skin cells. What is marsupialization? Answer, the surgical technique of cutting a slit into a cyst and suturing its edges to form a continuous surface from the extent exterior to the inferior of the cyst, allowing it to drain freely. So here, physician will not close the wound, but to skin edges, he will make the suturing so that it will heal properly. What is a palinodal cyst? Answer, a palinodal cyst is an abnormal pocket in the skin that usually contains hair and skin debris. Next one, how many types of INDF palinodal cyst we have? Like we have simple and complicated. What is meant by debridement? Debridement is the process of removal of damaged tissue or foreign objects from a wound. How do you report debridement? Answer, for debridement we need to use 11-11-002-11047 series code. Debridement is coded based on the depth of the tissue removed and surface area of the wound. How do you report debridement of single wound? When performing debridement of a single wound, we need to report the depth using the deepest level of tissue removed. How do you report debridement of multiple wounds? In multiple wounds, we need to sum the surface area of those wounds that are at the same depth but do not combine sums from different depths. For example, patient has two wounds, both are bone level only. Then we need to add those both and we can code. How do you code? Depredement code. We will code based on body surface area. How do you code? Depredement of skin. Answer. We need to use 97,000 series by depredement of skin. In integumentary, you will find below the skin level, we need to use integumentary system. If it is skin depredement, we need to use 97 season. 90,000 series code. So what is the difference between biopsy and excision? Biopsy is the process of cutting small piece of tissue as a sample to find out the cause of disease, whereas excision is the process of removal of complete tissue. How do you code biopsy performed on different lesions? Biopsy is performed on different lesions or different sites on the same date of service may be reported separately as they are not considered a component of each other. Will you code excision and biopsy of same sites? No. We no need to code biopsy as biopsy as integral to excision. What is partial thickness biopsy? Answer. Partial thickness biopsies are those that sample of portion of the thickness of the skin or mucous membrane and do not penetrate below the dermis or lamina propria. So partial means it is not full thickness. So it is below the dermis or lamina propria. 
basically it will not go down through the dermis it is epidermis and dermis only what is full thickness biopsy in full thickness biopsy penetrate into tissue deep into the dermis or lamina propria into the subcutaneous or sub mucosal space so based on this depth we can decide whether it is partial thickness or full thickness how do you consider a biopsy technique an appropriate biopsy technique is selected based on optimal tissue sampling consideration for the type of neoplasty inflammatory or other lesion requiring tissue diagnosis so usually if you have a fluid surely we need to use the fine needle aspiration biopsy so if you have a tissue we need to use like punch biopsy or core needle biopsy what are the techniques available in the skin biopsy tangential biopsy punch biopsy and incisional biopsy what is tangential biopsy tangential biopsy describes the biopsy is performed with a sharp blade to take a small portion of the epidermal tissue so here physician will take the external so that's why he is using the blade in tangential biopsy what is punch biopsy punch biopsy is required using a punch tool to remove a cylindrical full thickness skin sample simple closure is included for oh, punch biopsy means it is like here physician will take the full thickness skin like cylindrical shape if you check our cpd books you can find those what is incisional biopsy incisional biopsies are done with the shave, sharp blade and involve removing full thickness sample with a wedge or vertical incision these biopsies penetrate into the dermis simple closure is utilized so here same procedure like tangential but the approach of removal is different here it is like a wedge wedge or vertical incision technique is different so what do you keep in mind while coding biopsy only one primary biopsy code should be reported if more than one biopsy is performed for example if the patient has tangential incision or punch biopsy we need to use only one primary code you can check the cpd books for more guidelines so here one only one primary biopsy code should be reported if more than one biopsy is performed at the same visit if multiple biopsies are performed with the same technique report the corresponding biopsy code and then use add on code for every additional lesion that is biopsied so here what is the indication for shave removal answer an indication for shave removal procedure may include symptomatic lesion that rubs on wristband or bra or any other reason why an elevated lesion is being completely removed with the shave technique suggesting a therapeutic intent it is only shaving so it is external of external surface of the skin it will not go into the depth it is the responsibility of the physician or qualified healthcare professional performing the procedure to clearly indicate the purpose of the procedure yeah, that is correct so how do you code complete excision if you are excising the entire lesion we will need to use excision code if you are taking the biopsy we need to take the biopsy code so if you are excising the entire lesion we will need to use code excision codes depending on whether the lesion is malignant or benign how do you code if the procedure is performed on different sites as usual if the procedure is performed on different site we need to use 59 modifier so what is shaving shaving is the sharp removal by transverse incision or horizontal slicing to remove epidermal or dermal lesion without a full thickness or dermal excision it does not require scissor closure basically whenever you see the shaving it is external of the skin not in depth or not full thickness how do you code shaving based on lesion diameter in centimeter and location of lesion how do you calculate lesion size to code we need to combine lesion less lesion size plus margins to what is excision excision is defined as full thickness removal of skin lesion including margins and include simple closure when performed what is a benign lesion benign lesions are not cancerous benign tumors may grow larger but do not spread to other parts of the body we can call it as non malignant lesions also what is malignant lesion a term used to describe cancerous lesions malignant cells grow in an uncontrolled way and can invade nearby tissues and spread to other parts of the body through the blood and lymph lymphatic system as malignant lesions will grow uncontrolled it might be a chance to spread to the other organ or blood or lymphatic systems benign lesion is located in only same location they will not 
एक्सप्रेस सो हाउ डू यू कोड बिनाइल बिनाइल सर बिनाइल नियोप्लाजम लाइक स्टिस फाइब्रस टिश्यू इंफ्लेमेटरी कंडीशन कंजेंटलेशन फुल थिकनेस रिमूवल ऑफ लेजन इंक्लूडिंग मार्जिन इंक्लूडिंग सिंपल क्लोजर एंड लोकल एनस्थीसिया वी नीड टू कोड सपरेटली ईच बिनाइल एक्सरसाइज सो दीज गाइडलाइन आर सर ओनली बिनाइल लेशंस दीज आर नॉट कैंसर कोड सिलेक्शन इज बेस्ड ऑन लेजन डायमीटर प्लस नैरो मार्जिन एंड इंटरमीडियट एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स क्लोजर शुड बी रिपोर्टेड सपरेटली अलॉन्ग विथ एक्सीशन कोड सिंपल क्लोजर इज part of the excision process and it would not be coded separately which is common in even malignant and benign how do you code excision of benign or malignant lesion with adjacent tissue transfer whenever we code whenever we excise benign or malignant lesion along with att we need to code only att no need to code benign or malignant lesion what are the examples for malignant lesion and how do you code examples for malignant lesion sir basal cell carcinoma squamous cell carcinoma and melanoma here full thickness removal of lesion including margin including simple closure and local anesthesia we need to code separately each malignant lesion excised code selection is lesion diameter plus narrow margin in intermediate complex we need to code separately there is only one code to report additional excision re excision based on the final value diameter required for complete tumor removal at the same operative session the report re-excision procedure performed to widen margin at a subsequent operative session used as appropriate if the physician performs re-excision also we need to use same malignant lesion excision code we need to append modifier 58 if the re-excision procedure is performed during the post operative period of the primary excision procedure so if the physician performs re-excision of the lesion to find our to procure more margin we need to code same malignant excision code along with 58 modifier stating that it is a staged procedure so what are the key parameters you need while coding benign or malignant lesions answer to code benign or malignant lesions properly we need to check site of the lesion as well as diameter of the lesion in centimeter so in our codes itself are have based on created based on the Height of the lesion as well as the lesion diameter. What is the difference between simple and extensive pilonodal cyst excision? With a small or simple sense in eleven thousand seven seventy, the physician uses a scalpel to complete excise the involved tissue. The wound is suited in a single layer. In eleven thousand seven seventy one, the extensive sense is superficial to the underlying fascia, but it has subcutaneous extension. Sorry. The physician uses scalpel to complete excise the lesion. It is like a uh, base on the skin layer. See here, completely excise the involved tissue. It is superficial only. Here, extensive sinus, superficial to the fascia, fascia level. How do you code injection to lesions? Base on number of lesions injected. When do you use repair or closure codes? We need to use codes in section to designate wound closure utilizing sutures, staples, or tissue adhesives. the singly or in combination with each other or in combination with adhesive strips so here whenever physician uses sutures staples or tissue adhesives adhesives we need to use the repair a closure code how do you code wound closure utilizing adhesive strips basically adhesive strips is included in the enf so we no need to code separate code for adhesive strips what is simple repair simple repair is used when the wound is superficial involving primarily epidermis or dermis and subcutaneous tissues without significant significant involvement of deeper structures and requires simple one layer closure hemostasis and local or topical anesthesia when performed are not reported separately so basically it is included in the involve primarily epidermis and dermis or subcutaneous tissue without significant involvement deeper structures like muscles or fascia what is intermediate repair intermediate repair includes the repair of wounds that in addition to the above require layer closure of one or more of the deeper layers of subcutaneous tissue and superficial fascia in addition to the skin and closure so whenever you find these repairs you need to find some keywords for example if you see here here physician mentioned simple one layer closure so whenever you see the document 
for example one layer closure directly you can code simple repair so whenever you see the deeper layers are layered closures directly you can code this intermediate closure so it includes limited undermining single layer closure of heavily contaminated wounds that have required extensive cleaning or removal of particular materials also constitute intermediate repair so for example that wound is fully hugely contaminated and it is having the single layer closure if the wound is contaminated we need to code it as intermediate not simple so we need to just check the document whether wound is contaminated or clean if it is contaminated we can use intermediate if the even single layer closure also we need to use intermediate if the wound is contaminated what is complex repair complex repair includes the repair of wounds in addition to the requirement for intermediate repair so it is included both simple and intermediate it is superset simple and com uh, intermediate repair require at least one of the following so these are the keywords you need to check exposure of bone cartilage tendon or named neurovascular structures debridement of wound edges action so undermining and uh, Involvement of free margins of vehicle rim, inland border, or nostril rim. Complex repair needs more than layer closure and more extensive than the simple and intermediate repair. So just whenever you code the repair, you need to check the keywords. For example, if it is simple repair, you can use the keyword single layer. If it is intermediate repair, you can key check the keywords like layer closure and uh, also single layer closure with heavily contaminated wood. it is a complex repair physician directly mentioned complex repair and you need to check whether exposure of bone or cartilage or tendon what are the repair coding guidelines when multiple wounds are repaired we need to add together the lengths of the those in the same classification simple with simple repair and from all anatomic sets that are grouped together into the same code descriptor we can't add together lengths of different classification for example if the lesions are in the same anatomic sites like simple we can add in the same anatomic sites like simple and complex we need to code different codes for simple and complex see here we can't add together lens of the repair different groupings of anatomic sites like trunk and face we can't code why well, means these both are in different anatomic sites when more than one classification of wounds is repaired list the more complicated as the primary and less complicated secondary procedure with the modifier so whenever we have more complicated procedure like complex intermediate and simple we need to code complicated first then intermediate and simple simple ligation of vessels in open wound is considered as part of the wound closure you no need to do anything so what is adhesion tissue transfer and rearrangement answer adhesion tissue transfer in mark rearranging or transferring local area of the skin along with the underlying subcutaneous tissue to the repair of the defect so name itself adjacent nearby tissue physician will transfer to close the wound here in adjacent tissue transfer we can call it as defect wound or defect the defect repaired may be traumatic wound injury or may be defect left of extension of lesion or mass some examples of adjacent tissue transfer include the following technique so these are the techniques physician will use usually to perform att usually you call it as att Z plasty, W plasty, Y V plasty, rotation flap, random excision flap, advanced excision flap. For this, we need to use 14,000 14,302 series codes. So, what are the most surgery guidelines? Answer: If two different persons involving the performing this procedure, we need to code separately. The most surgeon removes the tumor tissue and maps and divides the tumor specimen into pieces, and each piece is embedded into individual tissue blocks for histopathological exam. Here, physician is taking the tissue of the tumor so here physician will perform histopathology not cytology if repair is performed we need to code separate code for the repair of flap or graft the biopsy of suspected skin is performed on same day as most surgery in the absence of prior study report skin biopsy with modifier in most surgery if the based on the biopsy report if physician performs most surgery for example if patient does not have prior biopsy and today patient will come for biopsy and physician performs biopsy and it got that and the report is positive for malignant lesion that time physician will 
perform most of you at that time we need to code 59 modifier to kin by ops the closing section is performed we need to report with modifier 59 surgery guidelines guys uh, this will conclude for the part 1 so part 2 we will make in the future nearby so any suggestions please mail at fastcoder21 at the rate gmail.com please like comment share and subscribe and inform to your friends thanks for watching guys happy coding